hello hello everyone this is ziki here and i hope you're all doing very well wherever you're watching this video from okay so we are continuing with our series on the introduction to beijing like i said before beijing has 16 districts of which six of them are considered urban districts so i've already shared with you two districts that is the tongzhou district and feng tai district and today i am introducing you to the central business district of Beijing that is called Chaoyang. Okay, now Chaoyang has about 43 sub-districts, okay, and it has a population of about 3.4 million people as of 2021, and it is the highest populated district in Beijing. And like we mentioned again that Beijing has a population of about 21,766,000 people, okay, and Chaoyang is one of the highest populated districts of Beijing, standing at 3.4 million people as of, 21, of 2021. Okay, now let's continue. Okay, you know if it is the central business district of Beijing, you can expect nothing but glamour, nothing but everything there. Okay, so Chaoyang district is home to foreign embassies in China, international media organizations, international chamber of commerce, and more more than 65% of foreign invested financial institutions and a recognized foreign population okay like in any other country foreigners tend to live in the central you know central cities of any country okay i mean this is for the obvious reason right you know because this is where everything is happening this is where the economic activities are happening okay now okay, as we continue with the chaoyang we are saying chaoyang is also where the foreigners mix and mingle like what you can see in the video right now this place is called the sun litton okay this is where you find foreign bars the foreign restaurants foreigners themselves it also has you know a lot of shopping malls a lot of those international shops international brands this is where they are all found in the cbd of beijing okay now i will mention that there are some sub areas of chaoyang district that is called wangjing in Wangjing, we have got universities which also cater for international students. We have My CDN. My CDN has also got some shopping areas. It's got a lot of international hotels. We've got San Litten. The one you can see in the video right now is all is called the San Litten area. And we've got the Gen Y. Gen Y has got all the you know it's a business district, okay, with uh, for 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 chambers of commerce, and there is um. And many other sub districts, okay, that are found in Beijing. Like I said, it has about forty three sub districts. Okay, so it's a very very big district, and also you know this is where everything happens. This is where you know the president and his cabinet and all his people they meet, they stay. This is where their offices are. And I'm I'm going to take you to those places separately, and I'm going to explain further. I'm going to explain more about those areas. Okay, now, uh, Chaoyang district is one of the most dynamic and exciting district it is it is home to international science and technology hub and culture and you know cultural centers okay it is a grand sports arena and the new refurbished worker stadium which hosted uh, argentina versus australia okay remember some few months ago i was talking about you know Lionel messi being in beijing and yes they were hosted at this grand sports arena this grand stadium that is called the worker stadium that is found in the cbd in san Litten. okay they also have the national olympic center which are uh, which hosted the olympics okay very very beautiful and well you know you know well built okay now when you get into beijing there's one thing that you find especially when you're in the central district this is fashion fashion trends tend to be launched in beijing okay they are found in the chaoyang district okay this is where you see all the latest trends young people you know you know looking all beautiful this is where you see supermodels this is where you see you know we launching you know fashion shows international fashion shows and all they all happen in the district of chaoyang okay <laughs> and also chaoyang boasts of the tallest building in beijing okay it you know over the past years it, it was being renovated because you know there was some fire that happened some years years back and then it was you know there's renovations and everything now is all finished and looking very beautiful i'm going to take you there sometime okay so that you can see the area but i i think within this video i also showed a clip a clip of that tall building okay 
uh, in, uh, in in Beijing, I did. But um, like I said, I'm going to, you know, to be particular on it alone. And I'm going to go there and I will show you, okay. And, you know, Chaoyang has got a very vibrant nightlife. Like you can see in the video here, this is an little area. People go there at night. There's a lot of night shopping. The area has got bars, restaurants. Like I said before, everything happens in this street. But, you know, last month or some few months back, some of the bars closed because, you know, like I said, Beijing is, you know, decentralizing. Beijing is, you know, renovating things, rearranging things and all this kind of stuff, you know, moving with the time and technology and everything. So some of the bars have been removed from here, uh, from Sunliton. They've been closed completely uh, some places turned into cultural centers into tea shops some of them you know change into bookshops and all this kind of stuff so all those things are found here in the cbd and also as you can see here in the picture you know road network transportation system is just perfect and you can already see in this photo that there is the tallest building in, in 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 beijing you can see it from here but like i said i'm going to talk about it on its own okay and again here in the picture this is also the cbd you can again see that tall building again okay so i go to all these places you know to document for you my friends so that when we talk of um you know when we talk of beijing you know, you understand what we are talking about when we talk of, you know, uh, you know, transportation, when we talk of infrastructure, when we talk of economy, when we talk of everything else, you have an understanding of how it is. OK, like we know that, you know, Beijing has been building China on its own it has been building infrastructure. Every new community is coming out everywhere, very clean and modernized places. Old old buildings are being renovated and everything. OK, so. Chaoyang district, it being the center, it being the heart, it has, you know, to move with the times. It has to be, you know, the per excellent. That is why they are decentralizing to remove some of these, you know, people who might be coming out of, you know, Beijing Central, coming back into the CBD to congest the city. So they are decongesting the city by making sure the other districts that are outside of Chaoyang, they also have everything that they need in their district. Now, one thing you have to understand is even if you are in San Litton or in Chaoyang district, if you travel to Tongzhou district, to another district, or to another district, you will find that it's almost similar. The development is almost similar. Like, there is nothing that you can like. You can find shopping malls there. You can find, you know, offices there. You can find recreational areas. You can find international bars. You can find everything. So this is what uh, China or Beijing has been doing. Okay. Right now, like I said, I'm only concentrating on Beijing because this is where I am. And this is where I am concentrating on the videos that I'm giving you. But as I go to other cities, I've been to Shanghai before. I've been to Guangzhou. I've been to Shenzhen. I've been to Tianjin. I've been to different other cities in, in China. But I did not really document them. Yes, I've documented some other cities like like Guangzhou and Shanghai I've documented them I'm yet to share but this particular series is about Beijing which you can see here in the videos that I'm attaching to you and I told you earlier on that you know I don't want to give you videos which were taken by others or which were shot by other people when I am there I have to give you original videos which I am doing like that okay I give you original videos I go out there to shoot the videos for you Okay, and I'm also, like I said before, I'm pri privileged enough, you know, to rub shoulders with some of the, you know, Beijing leaders and everything. So I get to talk to them. I get to understand what is happening and what is taking place in that city. Okay, so this is why I have all the, some of the first-hand information that I have. Okay, now, speaking of which, we know that there's a lot of content creation that is going on around the world. People are doing. Now, when it, com when it comes to, um, to Chaoyang District, this is where you see a lot of vloggers, a lot of bloggers, a lot of content creators. They are there shooting, you know, recording and all this kind of stuff because there's a huge market of, you know, of uh, content creation in China, which I am going again to talk separately about because it's something that is very interesting you know it's a billion um billion yuan industry of content creation okay so i'm going to talk about that separately but yeah i have introduced you to um 
to Chaoyang district, which is the central district of Beijing. And I said it has about 43 sub districts. Um, and these sub districts include, you know, Wangjing, Mai Zidian, Sanli Ten, GNY. Okay. And it has a population of about 3.4 million people as of 2021, making it the highest populated district in Beijing. Like I said, Beijing also has an estimated population of about 21 million seven hundred sixty six thousand people okay so this is all i have for you right now in the introduction to beijing and until i come back again with more and more districts and again different places that i'm going to be giving to you please subscribe and put notification bell so that you don't miss on this and more reason why my channel is the best place for you to find information about china is because i give you raw okay content okay original content this is what i give you you see it firsthand i don't take videos from the internet i don't take videos you know that have been made by other people i actually go into the streets and shoot the videos myself so everything that i give you is raw content that is the reason why you need to subscribe to ziki media so that you don't miss on this and more okay and uh, you know hold on for the latest video that i'm going to upload for you and you're also going to see some other places okay so we still have 13 more districts to talk about okay and these are the ones that are going to be coming up next during the week but until then please subscribe and stay and please share the videos okay you know leave your feedback it's very important to leave feedback okay so that you can push the algorithms you know so that our channel can be recognized i know what you guys have been used to you know the kind of content that you were used to but pardon me okay just pardon me you know i had to change okay so where you are looking right now this area you are viewing right now this is the embers area you can see, okay, and this is also another the shopping center that I showed you before. That is Sunday, and until then, take care and goodbye.